So this is going to be our normal entry into every show. Man, I'm not looking at anybody here. I'm looking at you. We're not on. We're not on? No, I don't have no. Ah! <laughs> you thought I was on, didn't you? Yes. We're on. <laughs> of course, I'm always on. All right? You're always on, Always Randy. on. You can't fool me. God. I mean, if they're, even if you're not on, I'm on. Oh, my God. Everybody's saying hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Oh, everybody's so nice. We're on! Everybody's so nice. Massive. Massive nice. Hey, just in case you guys tried to call me today and I didn't call you back, today was a, like, a triple oh. Monday. Oh, Mondays are particularly bad anyway. This one, whoa. That was just like, man. I swear, an hour ago, I was like, it's, please make it only 10 a.m. <laughs> I needed another eight hour day. Oh, I, know. I need another eight hours to get done what I want to get done today. I didn't get to call people, big jobs, nothing. It was just, whew, it was. Yoga in a tiny, baby. Yoga in the tiny. Yoga in the tiny. I did my, what is that, man? The soldier? No, you gotta warrior. Get you got to get down there. Oh, it's the warrior, you isn't it? You put your foot flat, see? That keeps your back from going deteriorating. <laughs> like that. And then you do reverse yoga. You keep cupping. Keep yeah. Cupping. Oh, I reverse the warrior. The yeah, reverse warrior. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. And then you stand up, and then you can scoot your foot in just a tad. Put your hand on your derriere. Mm -hmm. Scoot it. Reach out as far as you can. Ah! Go down and then look up the opposite way. Yes. Oh my God. It helps. Feels amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you all don't eat for all day. Make sure you don't eat until about six o'clock. Intermittent fasting. Yeah. And then that'll make you feel better. And then when you do eat, don't eat a bunch of poo poo. Eat your fruits and vegetables. I'm just telling you guys, it changed my life. I'm not, I'm, I don't have any allergies anymore. Mm -hmm. um, joint pain gone. And I heard a guy said today, Dr. Gregor, go with Dr. Gregor, mm -hmm. nutritionfacts.org, nutritionfacts.org, Dr. Gregor. I watch him on YouTube. He's, he uh, doesn't charge for, he doesn't take a profit for his books, website, anything he does. It's all free. He doesn't take collection draw money from it but the degenerative back i didn't know this but your back my dad had degenerative uh, discs right mm -hmm. well in your discs there's there's limited blood vessels oh. okay in the disc so blood doesn't rush into those discs like the rest of our body oh so if you're suffering from cardiac problems which you don't know like limited flow uh, blood flow um, that keeps the blood from going into your spine, which causes degenerative back. So a lot of people who are overweight, who don't take care of themselves, then their back goes out on them and they're sore and they start hunching over and they're hurting all the time. It's from lack of blood flow. And lack that, of blood flow. And that comes from, and Dr. Esselton, with his own forks over knives, says he cures all cardiovascular disease through diet. 100% whole food, mm -hmm. plant-based, and that's why I did it about 10 months ago. I didn't know if I had any problems, but I just wanted to just make sure I didn't. So no animal protein, no animal products whatsoever. I'm not a, oh. I'm not a doctor on it. You what? To stop no, you're good. <laughs> I'm not a doctor on it. I'm just giving you guys like the, the the uh, amoeba approach on it. And Lynn Lowe kn knows those people. So Christine was the first one that said, uh, said, yeah, I know Dr. Gregor and the, uh, Christine go. and the McGoogle and all that kind of stuff. So they know all these So that's, guys. that's what I do. That's what I follow. Mm -hmm. so. And two, of course, we want to say, check with your doctor before doing anything. Why? Is somebody going to sue me because well, I said I that? you got to say that. Okay, well, check Randy with your builder before you buy to go. Check with your builder before you buy a house. <laughs> You are our builder. And that's another thing. There was a guy talking about building homes, right? Yes. He was talking about how containers are terrible. And when you cut them, you, you cut their openings, you diminish their strength. I 100% agree. 
-hmm. My philosophy is that a container is made to go overseas with 38 tons inside that. <laughs> that is true. All that we're putting in is about 2,000 pounds mm -hmm. inside this thing, and it's sitting on the ground. Is 2,000 pounds one ton? One ton. So you're putting a ton in there. Ton in there. <laughs> All right. Just take it. Make it two tons. Make it two. It's not 38 tons. Right. And it's not being supported on t uh, four corners. Mm -hmm. It's supported the whole length of it. It's not being twisted or turned. Mm -hmm. So my common sense thinking, cut that out of there. I took Bryce's, he cut everything out of there. Mm -hmm. I took the end of that with a forklift and I bounced that thing. The windows, everything, perfect. Nothing broke, never done nothing, anything. You know, so it's, he was degrading. He said, you know what, he was against tiny homes, container homes, uh, modular homes. Homes, mobile homes, he wanted was regular stick built yeah, homes. That's right. all you could have, you know? Mm -hmm. Because he said tiny homes, you have to have a minimum of 100 square, which is 7 by 14. Mm -hmm. Stop. You know what? We can't afford homes. From uh, uh, Orlando, drove all the way up here to see us today, and she was just ecstatic. She said, I can't believe the young people that don't jump on board with your $15,000 right. homes, mm -hmm. that they could have a home for years. Let's think about it. You get one when you're 18 or 19 and you stay in that till you're 30 and never have a house payment, mm -hmm. a rent payment, overhead. Yeah. So it is it is awesome. So we're getting, we're excited about the product we sell. Um, I had, we uh, had a customer today. We locked in on his plans, his contract. Had a, uh, another one that we've uh, got lined up. So it's been an active day. As you can see, the guys, we got our skylights in our building. Yes, our I'm skylights. so impressed with so that. So we don't have any lights inside our building. No lights. No lights. And we love the natural light. It makes us feel, you know what? Even guys don't talk about it. When they come in, they say, hey, I feel a little better in here with no lights yeah. on. Because it makes you feel uplifted because you get the real sunshine. Well, and this reminds us of Inca, the whole plan. So for yeah. those that it does. wasn't there, but the ones that were, you know what we're talking about. Yeah. All right, everybody. So, yes. I just told I don't know why I talk about all this stuff. I say it. All right, you probably turned me off already, but I'm going to show you a tiny home. Four people have not turned me off. 104 people love you. All right, <laughs> right here. I'm going to show you. This is our Freedom Style home. And our Freedom Style, this is on our website. Incredible Tiny Homes, that's who we are. Freedom Style starting at $25,000. Mm -hmm. So, this is a $25,000 house. All right, and this is a list of all the amenities that comes with the house. So you go to our website, look up Freedom Line, $25,000 house, mm -hmm. shows everything was, that comes with that price. And, and I wanna add this too, because people always, it's, they think it's a marketing thing, and with us, it's honestly not. They'll say, yeah, it starts at 25, but we're gonna pay like 72,000 for it. That's it. Not for this. You're gonna lay in there and sleep. All you need is 20, sheets yes. and a cup. 25,000, you're gonna get all of that. You're gonna get that. You get that. Done. Over. Come get it. Yes. There is a little bit of an upcharge if you want us to deliver it. Yeah, now there's other things if you that you want it, but. This is appliances. This is a gas tank with water heater. You get a dormer. You get the PSPI siding, full bathroom, full kitchen, flooring. wood floors, spray foam, spray foam, appliances. He's there. I'm I'm missing, I was missing like five things different between the RJO and the Freedom. Yes. And the PSPI siding. Right. So let me show you a few things in here that we Beautiful. kind of we kind of just add on our own. It's not a. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a requirement. Right. We kind of change as we go a little bit. Now, one thing with our modular uh, certification. Somebody just asked about that. These panel boxes. We have a panel box. When you come into your right. Okay. We do a panel box. It has to be 24 inches off the floor. Okay. So we put this one here. But the thing is, you got to open it sometimes, occasionally. Mm -hmm. Well, we have shelves here. We got to put a shelf under this one. And if we want above it, we got to have one above it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to relocate them and we're kind of just kind of toying with the location of them. Yeah. All right, we're getting these down now that with 37 inches from the center of that window to the framing on the inside because that's a 203 0 window and it puts a sink right in the center. Oh, good. Okay, so we, we're getting these so down. That's almost a pattern. It's getting to a pattern because of this floor plan on our jail. Now, if you come in the side, you want something different. But, you know, we're selling a lot of these homes. We are. And people are really loving this floor plan 
and I'll show you why here in a second. Yes. Now behind you, let me show you in the bathroom what we're doing. We we went at the original RJOs. I didn't put these little fans in here because you got to put a duck. It's a little bit of a laborious thing to put a fan in. You got to put a vent on the outside and that. But people were asking more and more about them, so now I'm mm -hmm. putting them back in the homes. Right. Um. So to do that, I like to have it up high by the shower, mm -hmm. and then this particular home. So what we do is we take six inches from the frame to the side of the window. Mm -hmm. That allows us space between the window and the shower for a fan. And this is what? This is a tankless gas water heater, and that's okay. what I forgot to say. This comes yes. standard with this home. Yes. Now this is an eco temp. This is what we've used for years. Mm -hmm. And we also have another water. If you don't want this, a lot of ladies are saying, I don't want that above my toilet. I don't either. I, I'm with them. If you don't want mm -hmm. it, now I hate it, but there's another one we can use. I know. It's about 1500 bucks. More. Yeah. You got to add $1,500 to yes. the build. And it goes under the cabinet. All right? We can put it Which under here. I would do that because... It sticks in a little corner. You I can, don't You can stick that. it in there and it vents through the floor. Mm -hmm. The manufacturer's out of Cincinnati. I wish I had the money that I could include him in all the homes. I know. Because I really like them. And what happens is um, a barbecue grill gas tank, the owner of the company told me that if you take a five minute shower of hot water, right, that, that 20, I think it's a 20 pound tank will last 950 showers. What? At a five minute shower. So I'm sure, okay, let's say you guys take a 10 minute shower. You get what, 450, 425, wow. um, 475 showers. So that's a year's worth of showering mm -hmm. for that one tank of gas. Wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's cool. So that's what they claim. Eco Temp, uh, we've used them forever. We've had some really good service on them. We've had a couple people that had some bad service on them. Uh, you know, they had to really harp on the warranty and the customer service was a little shaky on it. And it's so few and far between. Yeah, not many on it. Um, but this, thing, honestly, this is a standard of tiny homes. Yeah, and we're using it. It's fine. The thing is, it's just the placement of it is the biggest thing. I would get it. If I had the extra money, I would put it uh, to hide it. I don't like that there. Some could, people, it doesn't bother. Could you say that just like a little more hateful, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that there. <laughs> I don't want to see it all the time. Kind of like you, Randy. Good with me. <laughs> I like to disappear. And then you got this law. <laughs> see? I see. Just I see. I'm just hanging You're out. You're just hanging out. <laughs> All right. So we get to use these reclaimed beams up here that yes. looks really, really nice. We'll put the can lights in here. All this is standard price. All this is just basic what, price. Let me ask you really quick about the water heater. Uh, she said, do you recommend instant water heaters on the outside of the building? Well, um, Good those question. those are actually the manufacturer says it has to be on the inside of the building now they do make them on the outside the thing is is what are you going to do about your water freezing in them things? well that's right there's always water running in them can now, you put a cabinet over that well, that's, that comes? will have a cabinet oh this well, one will we're going to put a cabinet under the the uh, gas lines and the water lines okay we'll do that you'll have the lines but not the actual heater no. so see, well yeah. see we used to make a little thing with open and close and all yeah. that stuff and a lot of people just don't want to do that. You can put a mirror on it. You can do all kinds of different well, stuff. Well, and too, you know, it takes time to build a cabinet for that. You well, know? it does. And then here, this is uh, digital. Mm -hmm. So you can hit your buttons and you can see your readout if it's working and all that stuff, you know. I, me personally, I don't care, but, you know. Ugh, it's a lot. Ugh. <laughs> it's so intrusive. I feel like another person is living with yeah. you. In the bathroom. Okay. Water heaters are over. No more water heaters. <laughs> no more questions about water heaters, Randy. Stop. I'm not answering more water heater Randy questions. Randy can't deal with it anymore. He's stressed out. All right. Eight foot countertop. <laughs> yes. All right. This even looks longer. I don't have my tape with me, but it's an eight foot countertop. Um, this used to fold down, but that's your, your uh, fridge cooktop mm -hmm. you'll get a cooktop you get a range hood everything that comes with a freedom now i have a question about the uh the rjo's well and this is a freedom but uh people are requesting whether they want to have barn wood or 
the butcher block and all that kind of stuff. They're requesting that now. It's, yes. And it's extra. Yeah. Barn wood is barnwood. extra. Barn yeah. wood is now Not extra. Not much, but we've got to charge. It's harder to work have with. To. I have to pay a lot more for it. Yes. Just like that guy that dumped all that stuff. I paid over $5,000 for all that wood. You wrote the check here. for it, yes. Yeah. So, um, but again, everybody, this is a freedom style home that yes. we came up with with the floor plan of a smaller bathroom, mm -hmm. kitchen, side by side. Rear entry, which gives us, yeah. we love this floor plan because it gives us this living room. The now, maximum. If you guys are fans of ours and been watching this forever, I'm, I'm sorry about being redundant, but I have to explain to people who are watching this about this big living room. I mean, you have a full living room in here. I know this ladder's in the way. Yeah. You get a big, this great big, um, picture window mm -hmm. you get this you know operable window yeah and just like most i've always built here you have a sofa here you could have a sofa along the side entertainment center and you get a mini split with you the get a mini split yeah i can't i can't remember all the list of things you get a mini split well, now you get a floor too here. you get a no i love I this do too. you get the choice right yeah <laughs> Oh, it's like you just showed up here today. Oh, wow. I'm excited about what wow. we saw. Yeah, I mean, when you compare it to anybody in the country, they wouldn't say this house have, less than 60 grand. another company cost this out. Cost it out. Have them cost it out. I mean, I'd split, love to see that. water heater, beautiful, one by six, yellow mm -hmm. pine, hard floors. Yeah. Full kitchen, full bathroom, PSPI siding, right? Yeah. Spray foam, insulation. What else am I forgetting? Uh, full appliances. You get a dormer. You get a dormer. Come on. You Stop. know how much a dormer is to add? That's a full bedroom. That's $3,500 add-on that comes with this house. And I bet you they charge more than $3,500 to add one on. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Everybody, I, I'm proud of the prices. I'm excited about the prices. And I think we are going to be the killer of tiny homes throughout the country. Yeah. Between fifteen dollars to $35,000 yeah, exactly. all day long. You can get a 24-footer. I mean, a 20-footer like this. And it had some extras. It was thirty four, thirty five thousand. But they had barn wood, they had pocket doors, they had all kinds of different washer and dryer and mm -hmm. hookups and stuff. So mm -hmm. between fifteen to thirty five thousand all day long, we're your man. I, I wanna I don't know if you wanna touch on this. I should have asked you before, but I'll just ask you while it's alive. <laughs> the uh, there was a little bit of frustration the other day. There was a customer that came, a potential customer, and we're talking his development. His, what he was involved in, making bank. I mean, hand over fist. And I didn't know if you would like to bring that up and maybe touch on that about... Yeah. We well, were, we're a little frustrated about it. Well, it's just frustrated the amount of money, man, that, that they're making over yes. in, uh, in, the, in the tourist area of Severe mm -hmm. Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, where our resort used to be. But um, what they're doing is putting park models. So they're going to spend $55,000 on a park model Ten thousand dollars in infrastructure in a in a lot and sell the whole thing for one hundred and fifty grand. Yes. So they're gonna bank eighty eighty five thousand dollars, <laughs> and they got forty of them going in. I know. So what? Three point two million bucks. Yeah. Profit. Profit. And I'm like, we're uh, we're busting tail and yeah. beating the day down just to make a couple thousand dollars a house. Yes. To get these out, but you know what? I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't mm -hmm. know why I feel like this. I just like doing it. I like knowing, I don't know why, I'm kind of just probably touched in the head. I like, there's a couple things. I like doing this because I'm proud of the prices. We can make a living doing this. Now, am I gonna get $3.2 million selling 40 homes? No, not even not close. Not even close. And I don't know why, I just, I, I, I feel like maybe the market won't bear it, but even if it, you know, I don't know. I, I like I like our price point. Mm -hmm. I came up with this. I was thinking, you know, somebody could buy, somebody could get fifteen grand off of grandma, mom, dad, somebody, right. and kind of get into a house if they really had to. Also, we're looking into financing that you could get a personal loan from a bank for fifteen to twenty five grand, pretty easy or credit union, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, you talk about making money. And the gentleman said he loved our homes, but he said these. Uh, wouldn't go well <laughs> I know. there because their nicer homes we were would shocked. look down on us. We were shocked. And they would be a little bit low-grade 
homes. The people that are the buying people those would be homes. Offensive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He said that they're six hundred thousand dollar RVs that come pulling in there. They don't want they those. They pitch up. Fit when they have a little camper in there about 18 feet next door and they're cooking hot that dogs out on the barbecue grill. That ain't the kind of crowd I hang with. No. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm like that one, what's it, uh, the, what is that, that song? What? When they got uh, uh, on the lake and they have all their pontoon boats yeah. on the lake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gosh. So, but. Really quick, I want to, uh, somebody asked, do you get a ladder with yes, this? Yes, you get a ladder. Uh, somebody said something about, I'm trying not to miss your questions here. Um, do you get a ladder? I mean, uh, of course, you already answered that. We need to that. go outside. It's getting oh, dark. We can. Um, do you have to have a concrete pad to put the... You don't need a concrete pad. You need something, some steady soil that you can put these blocks on. Let me show you these right here. All of our homes, we block up while we're building. See these blocks? Yes. Now, they're just wooden blocks because they're temporary. Mm-hmm. But if you're going to stay there for a long time, you could take wooden blocks and make it out of pressure treat. The green wood that Lowe's, they got that green wood. You can take blocks and build them out of. Now, we've got our wheels up off the ground. As long as it's pressure treated. Yeah, because it won't rot. Right. Now, these are barely up off the ground, okay? But, um, so I would take a pressure treated post, block them up. And remember, I've got a video of how we get these off the ground without using any kind of alternate jacking system mm-hmm. other than the tongue. Oh. I can get this up off the ground just using that tongue. Awesome. And I got a video on the website that shows that. Really quick, we forgot to mention, Holly mentioned uh, there's a fridge that goes in there under Appliances. the counter fridge. Yeah. And then also, somebody asked, how much does it change when you want steel studs? And what's your thoughts on you know, steel I've, we studs? Haven't, we've not built with steel, and mm-hmm. we can. There's some things to consider when doing steel. Mm-hmm. The fasteners, the electrical, the plumbing. How it runs through the steel. You can't just drill a hole through steel and run wire like we do wood. Mm-hmm. Um, also, fastening this wood to steel. Right. You know, and the interior, the interior V groove. So we got t- tongue and groove boards. You just can't nail it into the steel. Mm, so you got to strip it out with wood, which you lose three quarters of an inch on each side, which is an inch and a half less. And so the steel is more expensive. And it's going to be slightly more. Okay, right. Uh, Mark, that uh, that I had talked to the other day up in New York, he said, I'll take 20. <laughs> so he's putting his order in. And Randy has your information and is going it. to call you. We yes. had a meeting this morning. I, I was know. Going, all Mark today. And it's just like, like I said, <laughs> I wish it was 10 a.m. right now. And real quick, how far out are we? Because somebody said, I want a house. How soon could I get a house? Yeah, I don't know. We're, because we are we are doing well. Tom we and I were talking about Tom is still here, mm-hmm. as you can see. Um, There's Tom. We are getting Tom these there. houses. We, <laughs> this house uh, was supposed to be out by Friday. I think we're going to get it out by Wednesday. So yeah. we've been in here since we got on it. It's been probably mm-hmm. about a two-week build. A little yeah. more than two weeks. And there was a customer that showed up today, and his trailer showed up the same time that he came. So he yeah. was surprised by that, that it was here. So, so we're the, everybody here is really trying to get they're getting into what they're doing they're knowing what we're doing tom and i as he's trying to get materials here and staging it so right uh we give you the worst case scenario we're looking at anything that comes in right now we won't start until after the first of the year right yeah because that, yeah that's what it kind of looks like yeah i mean holidays i mean uh thanksgiving will be here in, in another month and then uh, christmas is always right around I know the corner it's right here beth said is that tom that is tom right that there is tom. yeah that's tom, tom. and oh, c- come here tom i have yeah. to show what you've yeah. done I gotta show it. What? Show your shirt. Turn around. What? Look at this. That's all my shirt. This is happened. how Tom does his shirts right here. All of them. No sleeves. Every one. That's Tom all yeah. day long. You know what? We need to market those. That's a Tom shirt. That's a Tom yeah. shirt. I'll yeah. Sell all two people will buy them. So if you want, so if you want a Tom shirt, we'll add five dollars to it. Yeah. There you go. And if you want a no lady, if you want a lady sweatshirt that's soft, go to Walmart and it's a Randy shirt. You're embarrassing. <laughs> Tom, you do know Randy wears women's clothes. I didn't know that. Huh? <laughs> I've not seen his yoga pants. <laughs> <laughs> They're from the ladies section. <laughs> yep. Um, but that's an RJO right there. <laughs> Beth said, Beth said he's so good looking. Interview him. Oh, he is. <laughs> Go talk to him. Well, Tom just got his hair cut too. Tom is gorgeous. He's on it. He's Tom. <laughs> tall, dark, and handsome, man. <laughs> He's the epitome of that. Oh, yeah. Tom's 6'2". Look at him. Pure man. <laughs> Pure man. Pure man. <laughs> Tom hates us right now. <laughs> well, they're loving this house. 
Yeah, you, how can you go wrong? Oh, and up in the gable, see how you get the shake shingle mm -hmm. design? Yeah. That comes with the PSPI. Yeah. See, I always, I throw that in there just as a flare because I don't like running the same kind of siding way up in the gables. Mm -hmm. It just breaks it up and gives it some dimension, you know? Awesome. Uh, everybody, this is what we're doing on our framing. Yes. All right. Um, I'll show you. Okay, this is a trader with a floor in the walls. So this is our yellow pine one by six flooring, all right? Okay, it's beautiful. Underneath that is our plumbing and our spray foam. And we just did one outside, I can show you that. Okay. So then then after we get it all done, you can see the plumbing down there. See mm -hmm. how it's all stubbed up? Yeah. All right, then what we do is we frame this. Now, I just purchased like 7,000 of these things right here. All right, and these are two by threes. Two by threes. Yeah, now, they're not two by four. Okay. Now, we use two inches of spray foam insulation. Mm -hmm. So when we spray foam this, it's probably gonna be just pretty much full. Okay. All right, and then we use our two by four for rafters so we can get three inches of foam in the ceiling. Okay. But what this does, we still have the same strength across vertically but we do, well, it's less strength than a two by four, but you still don't need a two by four, but we're still getting all the R value we can on this. Plus we're gaining over an, about an inch on the interior. Oh. Yeah, and that means now that's a, a big deal. You wouldn't believe how much an inch is. An inch is for better trim around your exterior door. Yes. More walk room between your kitchen and bathroom wall. It makes a difference. It makes a difference. Mm -hmm. So we're liking this in this design. Um, That's what Dana said, every inch counts. Every That's time. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. So that is, so what we do is we throw up all four walls, mm -hmm. then we brace them off. Okay. Okay. So what Now, Patty said, is the underside of the floor plumbing, et cetera, sealed? Yes. Uh, enclosed? Yes. Yes. Um, underneath this right here mm -hmm. is a metal pan. Oh, yeah. There so it is. every one of our trailers, the floor systems has a metal pan. That's a great question. Then we put, look, we got metal. You see that piece of metal there? Yes. Then we put a two by six across here. Yep. And we spray foam it after our water and plumbing mm -hmm. is in. And then we put the two, here's the tongue and groove. See here is the tongue and groove yellow pine. And then we put our floors on it. These brackets that come up, we put a bolt right there and we bolt them through. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason we do all this is not, no, when we sheet this, we sheet it, it comes down. So when we glue and sheet and nail all this, right? And this is like you guys doing DIYs. You can do this at home. This is, there's not rocket science to this. Mm -hmm. Our trailer manufacturer has this underpinning right here. This is a sheeting, right? If he does it right, it's eight by 24, this house is. You make your floor system follow that and you're done. And yeah. then you got a floor. Then so when we put our sheeting down, it is nailed, right? And glued to this floor joist, to the walls, and then up to the rafters. Mm -hmm. Then we bolt all that down with a through bolt into this. All right? So the house is locked down. We have to buy on the big craftsman, we have to buy these great wall mounted mechanisms mm -hmm. and they fit up against here and we drill all the way through and all that. Well, this frame is different. There is no frame outside here. It's hanging, it's cantilevered. Cause this is the I-beam and we cantilever over. Now is it, Christine wants to know, is it two by threes for the RJOs or the Freedom or both? Where, where are they going in? RJOs and Freedoms. And Freedoms, yeah. so both the of those. Craftsmen were going two by fours because they're 12 foot tall. Okay. Those and, are big homes. And then Fred uh, made a comment, said, can I get the number 30 RJO built? Um, I think he meant uh, the barn wood on there yeah. so mm -hmm. so what what he needs to do is make sure that he emails us and lets us know yeah uh, and we'll give him a price on the barn wood exactly barn right. woods is is more because it just costs i have to buy that stuff I know. we, we I used mean, to tear down barns i just didn't have exactly. time to do it anymore yeah but so in structurally your plywood is nailed and screwed to this or stapled nailed and stapled to your floor joist and all that's bolted to the trailer the trailer's got underpinning it's spray foam in the floor People, I don't know how else to build a better home than that right there. Right. All day long. Now, what you put on the inside is what makes it look popping. You're painting your granite and all that stuff and your cabinets and stuff. We hand build our cabinets. Mm -hmm. They're custom built. Yep. Pantries, small pantries, everything. And two, uh, somebody's asking about the width prices, and we've got those on our website. Right here. You can do 10 foot wide. Yeah, absolutely. On RJOs, here's 8 foot wide. 
Nine foot Nine, wide, 10 foot ten. wide. So let's say I want it. Look at this. I want a 10 by 20. It's 26 grand. I mean, come on. 10 by 20. That's a base. That's your base price right there. And the base price, you can live in that house. Oh, listen. You don't need If you want else. a 10 by 28 RJO, it's $36,000. Wow. 10 by 28. Do you know what? <laughs> Every, there is not a tiny home company in the United States right now that yeah. wouldn't triple triple mm -hmm. that price and somebody's asking about the trailer over here they said so are there just four bolts holding it to the trailer just four i can add 16 <laughs> more if you like <laughs> you have to put the j-u-s-t right exactly mm. with a 10 foot wide uh lori wants to know with a 10 foot wide how far does it cantilever from the frame good question <laughs> on the 10 foot wide mm -hmm. um we get a little bit wider trailer we get an eight foot wide trailer instead mm -hmm. of a seven, so it still cantilevers out a foot on each side. Just a little dab. A foot. Okay, a foot. Okay. Um, yeah, the price listing that sh that is on the website, I'm pretty sure that that's on there. Yeah, now these are these are RJOs, mm -hmm. and I didn't know we were going to continue building these, so it seems like it's pretty ar arrogant yeah. of me to call them after my name. Well, we, it is not. I thought we were just going to do 30. Now we're offering them all the time. Well, that's okay. And then the Freedom Line. How's that arrogant? And then the Freedom Line is the same thing. We yes. got 8, 9, and 10. Mm -hmm. But look, oh, okay, look here. You go from a 10 by 28, which is a big house, 62,375, and an RJO is 36. It's almost double. Right. All right? The reason is there's a whole lot going on in that freedom yeah think exactly. about it in the freedom is all maintenance free siding mm -hmm. the dormer the uh the mini split you get a mini split with it mm -hmm. you get a bigger kitchen you get more cabinets you get a bigger bathroom you get you, there's a lot going on there 10 by 28 is a massive house right um let's see so a 10 by 28 craftsman style could cost approximately what is the base price for this craftsman uh, i don't know what 10 8 by an eight by 28 because that's what auctioned off the base price was 65. Mm -hmm. and you know what i didn't bring the craftsman with I me because i didn't think anybody would want to know and the reason the why craftsman. the craftsmen are so much more is tell why there's just a big old house look Huge. at this right here so much space this is a craftsman but it's a hybrid because it's our highland yes but see the back wall how tall it is mm -hmm. turn around and look straight back over there at that frame. yeah exactly Big yeah, big difference. So, so you all get a that lot volume, of volume, all that volume from there up, all the walls, the siding, the insulation, the mm -hmm. windows, everything in their interior trim, everything is just more money. And you look, and the you trailer is bigger. Right. It's a drop axle trailer. You got eight lugs. This is a massive axle. It's drop axles. You get more vertical height in the, yes. in the Craftsman. Craftsman is top of the line. Yeah. And Dana us. said that um, Craftsman 10 by 28 is 74,000. That's our base price. There you go. Good deal. Thank Somebody you, Dana. Mm -hmm. 74 grand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, I'm and that has everything in it. Do you have to, do you need a permit to drive the 10 foot wide? Yes. Mm -hmm. Anything over eight foot six wide, you got to have a permit. And that's in every state. Yes. Correct? That's nationwide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now here's one. This is a Craftsman trailer with a freedom style home with a double dormer. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that what Becky's, uh, Becky's is that too, yep. isn't well, it? Yeah, hers is eight and this is 10. Yes. Wow. Or is this nine? I can't remember what is nine. It looks bigger, don't it? I can't remember. Probably inside of it. Yep. Let me show this side of it. <clears throat> this thing just went up so fast, I had to wrap my, my I know. around it. But and some it things have happened. Um, regarding the PSPI. Do you want to touch on that? Yeah, they've actually limited us now. They said it was going to be 20 basic colors. Now there's only seven basic colors. Yeah, there's not that many now. To use on them. Mm -hmm. And we need, when you sign a contract with us mm -hmm. for a home, we need your colors then. For your metal, for everything. Yeah, you can't we need wait. them all because of yeah. the, for us to go back and remember to go back and get the colors from you and expedite that, it's like, no, we got to have it all right there when you sign on the contract. <laughs> I love, I love when people remember stuff about, I mean, we're talking a couple of years ago. Remember when I mowed the field of Art Lola's and yeah. throwing them snakes? Well, they said, are you going to name a house after Amanda? And, yeah. and she said, uh, what was it? She said, call it the snake thrower. <laughs> I'm going to call her the strangling python. Remember that show? I, well, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to try and go back through some of our old stuff and repost it. 
Because let me tell you something. For you newcomers, there is stuff you we used to do them, you wouldn't believe. If you go back on Facebook <laughs> and look up the video of Strangling Python. <laughs> we had a ball. God, that was funny. Oh, God, it was and funny. Was, and then when I did it was Johnny Warson. He was Wani Warson. Wani Warson. Wani Warson. Yep. And then we did our camping one where we shot a tiny home. We went hunting for a tiny home <laughs> you shot and it shot an it with arrow. a bow and arrow. Oh, God, it was God, funny. that was cool. It was so great. Okay. Oh. Uh, they said the, uh, let's see, let me kind of get back on track here. Um, what, uh, what are the sizes, what are the tire sizes of the RJO versus the Craftsman? Um, there are 15 inch tires, but they're only five lug on the RJO. Okay. And on the Craftsman, they're eight lug. Okay. And the axles are 3,500 pounds on RJO. That's the smallest axle we use. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's back on. I don't know why it froze and now we're back. Sorry, but okay, I know we're trying to get yeah. it. Scott's been working on it, so we're trying to get it working. Uh, let's see. More questions? Yeah, hang on just a second. Uh, Amanda, please ask Randy on the website. A <clears throat> ten by thirty-six RJO is listed as thirty-six thousand. What is the difference between that and the Craftsman, and why the price difference? Okay, we just ex we just explained that. Okay, with the oh, she said ten by twenty-eight, but yeah. still the same thing. The um, Craftsman. I could just go on. Mm -hmm. um, the trailer's bigger. It's drop axles. Mm -hmm. The amenities, the dormers, the water heaters, the siding. It's uh, um, the mini split, the kitchens, mm -hmm. the showers. And everything is A lot different. of differences, and it's all on the website. Built different, different mm -hmm. size. The walls are 12 foot versus 7 foot. It's just like, yeah. Big difference. Um, somebody asked a good question. I've never heard this question before, but can you get the trailer painted pink or a different color? We've you never can. done that. Well, the thing is, is that you only see the tongue. Yeah. There, you don't see much of the trailer box. So they could probably paint it themselves. Yeah, well, I, I paint mean, it I, pink. I you want pink, I'll paint it green. Whatever you want, I'll paint it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Love our skylights. <laughs> oh, it looks It, looks it would be great. dark in here if we didn't have our skylights in here. Yes. All right, let's see. And the PSPI, we've got to get that online because... The people that took over the PSPI, we they don't have a website yet. Yeah, they're called so, LP. Yes, LP. So we've got to be we've got to get those colors to everybody so they can choose. Yeah. So we gotta do that. Yep. Uh, and Mark said on those up going to New York, I want it all metal. Metal siding? It, I, that's what I'm asking. Good. Yeah, I, I love metal siding. Yeah. We've done a bunch of them, man. I think that's what he means. Yeah. Yep, and I like different roof lines. And remember, everybody, we'll still do, still do arch roofs. We'll still do lean-to roofs. We'll do shed roofs. We'll do gambrel mm -hmm. roofs. Um, you name it, we'll do everything. These are just basic models that I've come up with to give you a tiny home for a great price. Mm -hmm. Give me a, a competitor's uh, um, design, and I'll build that. Our Craftsman is, is real similar to a lot of competitors because everybody's trying to get as much volume and big and stuff. But I like to build things that are unique. I like to put uh, shutters on them and flower boxes on them. And I like to doll them up on the outside. I like to make them look like a little cottage, you know, that's stuck back like a whimsical cottage. I know this one here, for example, we'll walk one more shot. I like showing okay. this house off. Yeah. Is, um, and this is Julie's house. And I like showing this house off. This because, is one in the community, everybody. Yeah. And this is a whimsical, it come out of the Thomas Kincaid uh, kind of premise. I'm trying to get where I can get a whole side of it. There we go. Ooh, it's pretty. You know what? I'm, I may have, well, they go in and out so much. I'd love to turn this house around. Um, but this is just a unique home, and this is what we do about making homes, tiny homes, look like real homes. And there's so many things I want to do. I wish I could just swing a hammer all day, create new designs. And that's what I'm hoping to do. That would be my dream is to have this company running to where I can start building our, you know, um, research and development yeah. homes and really add a lot of cool stuff to them. Hey, now Ken has a question. I have a question. Would a split gable be considered an RJO or a Freedom? What does that split mean? Split gable? A split gable. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm not sure, Ken. Yeah. Split gable. He wants to know if it'd be an RJO or a Freedom? Yeah. Well, you know, we run our gable straight across mm -hmm. and like that one right there, man, to show him that one. That is an RJO. That's an RJO. No dormer mm -hmm. or anything. Well, that's an RJO with maintenance-free siding. Right. Okay. 
the freedom is just our amenities that we add on to it. Is the dormer, mm -hmm. the gas, the all that stuff. I hate to bore you guys with everything we say. That's not boring. I mean, they're, but I'm repeating they're myself asking. a million times. Well, you know, the, some people don't know it. Well, the freedom mm -hmm. in the RJO mm -hmm. is like five different things: maintenance-free, tankless water heater, P, um, PSPI siding, uh, mini split, and full appliances. I mean, and I, I talked to Amber today. Amber answers our phones uh, whenever you call. And I said, so what? What kind of questions are you getting when people call in and stuff? And she said a lot of people. Are interested now in the Highland said it seems like it's a popular gorgeous house, a popular man. that and the containers and what is the cost like I know we used to do this with the Hobbit like I think it was like three thousand or something when you do a hop remember we would add that it's on the Hobbit style the Hobbit style was do we have a cost. I can't I didn't even remember this what? I've been thinking about this yes. and I don't know how it'll look mm -hmm. but I would like to try to take this look this look and apply it to an rjo or a freedom yes mm -hmm. and give it a, give it a, a price. i tell you what if there's somebody that wants that on an rjo or freedom on yours let me know mm -hmm. and we'll see what we can't do about throwing that on there right and exactly we'll work out kind of a it'll be a model a for us mm -hmm. but i'll give you a good deal by letting us put these reverse dormers a shed dormer and stuff exactly so you could you imagine on something like that like this. Mm -hmm. Now there's some things to consider. You know what I think would be cool is what? having an RJO Highland that would have barn wood. What would the Highland look like oh. in barn wood? That'd be cute. It'd be hard to work with, wouldn't it? I don't know. Oh yeah, it's siding. You'd got to waterproof it behind it, but mm -hmm. um, and live edge and different things. Mm -hmm. But what makes what makes a Highland is the roof system. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you guys could look. Maybe show them this, man. I'm going to try to point it out. But see the roof system? Yeah. It's expansive. It's, it, it gives, you can see it, right? Yes. So what I would like on an RJO over here is maybe that window, I would mm -hmm. like to bring them gutters down about, two, about a foot. Yeah. So actually the roof line would come sweeping down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't care how wide, if you don't want to stick to the eight foot six, we got a lot of freedom in design, but when you want to stick to an RV up and down DOT standards, we're limited to eight foot six. Mm -hmm. I would like to bring that, that roof line down and that window is up in that reverse dormer. Yeah. And another reverse dormer with a little shed or it's just, you can doll it up. And I think you're going to have to come up with a price for that because everybody's wanting their house done as the Highland now. So, yeah. uh, but come up with the price for that for the rjo and the freedom and uh, so we can well we know. can put a reverse dormer on the back i mean mm -hmm. a, a shed dormer on the back shed dormer mm -hmm. like a like a freedom super cute and then we could put a couple reverse dormers on the front mm -hmm. to doll up and make it look really cottagey yeah exactly so we'll so we're gonna work on that and come up but with i like to squat it down to the ground see mm -hmm. that's got a that's got a um a uh, drop axle trailer right so everything it's like a home. It lowers itself down. See how mm -hmm. high this is? So from this point, from the ground to that gutter, yes. it's a little bit, it's a little bit too long yes. when you got a little roof, right? Yeah. So I need to bring that roof out a little bit more mm -hmm. and bring this, this down. And to do that, I need to make them rafters come down, mm -hmm. okay? So I just don't know, that, that'll infringe a little bit, but you know, when you're standing next to a wall, mm -hmm. You don't have the headroom because nobody stands right next to a wall. Right. So if the headroom is about six foot instead of seven, you're not next to the wall. Right. You come out six inches, you got seven foot out. Right, of course. So you'll work on it. So if you guys are willing me to gamble on your house, mm -hmm. let me try to. We'll get a price together on that because they would look really cute. What other tiny home company does that? I, know, we just, I mean, we're designed to build it on the fly. Yeah, exactly. What do you want? Well, we'll throw yep, it to there you go. Tom's going, oh my God. Randy, I know exactly. Doing? I'd love to. Let's try it. Yep. yep Cheryl um, and Randy will give you a call to go over her plans and stuff like that. She's going into the community. And yeah. um, believe me, everybody's on the list. It's a matter. There ain't enough hours in the day, is there? I don't know. A lady from Orlando <laughs> come by here and she loved us. And she said, I, I want to be in the yes. forest. She goes, what is available in the forest? I said, I don't know. Everybody, you need to pick your lots because yes. we have two left over and she wanted to.
And we couldn't tell her which one, two she got. Yeah, and, and it's to be, because we're doing it the fair way. Pam is calling everybody, and we're not moving forward until people choose. So, and Pam's giving them a time limit to choose because we know it takes just a little bit of time, but she's not giving them long. It's like, listen, you have to choose and move on so we can get everybody's yeah. lots chosen. And I do want to tell you that the container home sold, the teal container home. Yes. It sold. Yeah. Where it's a, it's a pending. Yeah. Um, but we're, and it's a, a, a kind of, it's a friend of ours, mm -hmm. uh, of everybody's, you know? Yeah. So we'll find out later who it is, but maybe in a year or two, yeah. but, um, but they wanted it. They're going to doll it up and, but so we're excited about cute. them getting that yeah. house. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to go into community. Yeah, it's going into community yeah, too. So, we're, so we're a lot of these it. are going to community. Mm -hmm. Is the Hobbit, the Hobbit on wheels going into yes. community? Uh, yes. You don't know? I'm almost positive, yes. I think it was too. The Hobbit's going in there. The Isn't big Hobbit. Mean? The 12 by Everybody, 36. Everybody, if, if we're going to keep building for our community, which mm -hmm. I think is so unique. Um. We're going to be looking for more land. You know what? Yeah, exactly. I want the prairie. Now, when the prairie starts, we're going to have fun. And I'm going to have something like around the first of the year. Don't need to be putting my head in that right now. I'm so excited about building these homes, get them expedited, building these in a, in a good way where all the people in here working are just on tune. Exactly what right. And then Fonda made a comment, of, um, said that I have asked about the lots that are still available and no real answer yet. Lies. So we're, lies. We, we lies. So we're lying. <laughs> yeah, we lie a lot. Yeah, we lie a lot. But no, there are, there's only, I think we have maybe two lots left, but everybody has to choose first before we can let you know the. Yeah, so if we ask somebody yes. to, hey, choose your lot and you're number 54 yes. and you don't get back with us for, you know, we don't get back with us, we can't tell the people that mm -hmm. want the extra community at incredibletinyhomes.com you can get a lot because Pam knows how many lots we have left yeah. and you can get a lot but you just don't get to choose until everybody goes through there to choose so there's a 423-438-0111 yeah and but, we've hired we've hired a person to yeah. answer that phone so Fonda there's four people that you can get a hold of and they will get you a lot and but you won't get to choose immediately and know which lot until you go in order you exactly. go into a line to keep it fair so yeah. <laughs> exactly. Are we done? Exactly. Nope. Yeah. And two, and what Pam is doing too, to be fair, is that whenever she sends something to um, a community um, who's who's got a lot in the community, she'll send them the updated map. We're on purpose not showing the map on uh, social media because it's going to change. It's going to keep updating. So until everybody's chosen, we're not putting the map out there. Yeah. You know. So and it's just now, to be fair. And on the beach, there are. 36 lots there's 18 they're going to be for airbnb and 18 they're going to be for residential mm -hmm. i will start the beach i've already pulled the permits electrical permits i've already got the 911 address this is malibu beach way mm -hmm. and laguna beach right okay way so the, we've already pulled it all i'm waiting to see if i can get my contractor's license reinstated right and get initiated so where i can i can build our own infrastructure mm -hmm. in the state of Tennessee or with Newport utilities, which will allow me to do all of our infrastructure. And that will be December 8th. So mm -hmm. I'm sure the way it's looking, we probably won't break ground on the beach until after the first of the year. Right. The, the, um, the forest community, the city has called me. They called me Friday. They said, they call me all the time. They said, we just wanted to let you know that the manhole manholes have been, um, have been ordered. Mm -hmm. The pumps have been ordered. The uh, contractor has been scheduled. Everything is in place and ready to go. They said, we're trying to expedite this as fast as we can for Good. you guys. They know it's taken them a long mm -hmm. time. So that will be alleviated when I'm able to put my own system in. Mm -hmm. I can just do it. Now, I still got to have the engineering. I still have to have the plans and the plat, but all they have to do is physically look at it, okay it. Right. And then we physically put it in. I can order all that. I actually was going to do it all myself, and they said I couldn't. Mm -hmm. So that's why. And, and, and everybody, when it comes to time frame, it is so profitable for us to do things 20 times faster than what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And we are trying. And I'm trying to do it so fast where people don't hate me here. So I'm not pushing them to where I just drive them out the door. Exactly. Everybody works good here. All the men and women work hard here. They're mm -hmm. all doing everything they can. There's nobody sitting back 
believe me, mm -hmm. we know it, we see it. And two, I was just going to say too, that uh, we're going to have someone, um, there's a, a girl that I've hired on part-time, uh, her name's Kelly, and she is going to be contacting each and every homeowner every week and giving an update on of what's going on, at. of Perfect. where you're at on your build. And we don't only, want you waiting. We don't want you waiting, and we don't want you to not be uh, contacted, and we just felt like that that was something that we we thought you would appreciate. So she'll be able to say, hey, listen, the, like when the spray foam machine went down or if, you know, your trailer came in or whatever's yeah. going on, whatever stage your house is in, and if you have any questions, let her know. She'll find out the answers, and she'll get back to you. But we want to make sure that everybody's contacted every week and keep in mind that's like 50 to 60 people on the build schedule as of now yeah so that's going to be a that's going to be a job within itself so yeah and i don't know if that's a good a good source of in you know using our money to have that done but mm -hmm. we just want to make sure you guys are informed i get people texting me said hey when's my house going to start when's my house going to start you know and yeah. i'm i'm in full tilt going and i don't have that list in my head constantly or carry it in my back pocket so I get frustrated because I don't want you worrying about it. I don't want you not knowing, you know? Right. So I and want two, you to know. And, and you've got so much going on. We don't want you to text Randy to find out about your house. We're asking homeowners to go through the proper channels and email us. And then, of course, Kelly's going to be um, contacting everyone. Yeah. But go through the office. We have to have you go through the office because the girls... The girls don't know, know what's being texted to Randy. We don't know. So homeowners, you'll appreciate this. You'll get a, a text back, or I mean, uh, get an email back or a phone call from our office. Yeah. And that just works better. Yep, yep. you got and, a lot of stuff going listen, on. Listen, we don't have it down pat yet. We're learning, we're mm -hmm. growing, we're adding, we're going, and everything we add, our overhead goes higher, but our prices stay the same, mm -hmm. don't they? Yeah. And the only way we make it work is we have to work more efficiently and faster and just be smarter about what we do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Man, is reading all these questions. Everybody, you're standing here looking at me, and I <laughs> hate that you have to just watch me, and I'm sure... They're listening. They're really listening. They're really listening, and they hate when you say that. Well, how do you know? They say that. All of them just... They, they said... They actually, all hundred people just... They Whoa. said they don't care if you repeat it. They want to know they might have missed something. All right. All right. And listen. All right. Well, I think about this. <laughs> these videos will be there when I'm dead and gone. Wanda said, hey, man, you're easy on the eyes. Come get me, Wanda. Take <laughs> yes, me away. Wanda, please come get me. <laughs> Take me away. And Mark said, hey, we're listening, man. All right, man. Yeah. All right, good. All right. Well, I'll never say it again. Well, good. Fur. Well, he Ever. will. Everybody knows you It's will, like you but. watch them podcasts and them guys sit in front of the TV. Oh, They're on. like you watch three them. hours. You man. watch them too. I never get to watch them. I'm always here. <laughs> See, so we got this one going on. We're finishing that one. Yes. We got this one. So we got... One, two, oh, three, four, five. Oh, it looks right in here. Six, seven. We got eight in here. We still got all this room. We bought some shelving. And this is brought in. This is for all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And then this over here. This is a hundred and fifty year old wood. That's if you guys want some of this wood in your house, that's beautiful. Let me know. I've got some ideas where I'd like to use this wood. See this old ladder? I've seen people use these ladders and hang so them on the cool. side, inside. Hang them, hang them like vertically, and you mm -hmm. hang stuff on them. Beautiful. Clothes racks, towels, Love stuff, it. decoratives. These old poles were come out of a, a winery, mm -hmm. and I'd like to use them inside of a house mm -hmm. for some trim and different things. Here's some barn metal, the old rusted corrugated barn that. metal. Oh, and also, uh, Ken said to re-clarify, a split gable means 812 pitch on one end and 112 at the other without the dormer. I hope you understood that, because I don't. A split gable means eight, eight slash 12 pitch on one end and one slash 12 at the other without a dormer. Well, without that's- Without a dormer. The, okay, if you look what down- What does that mean? Well, our craftsmen are like that one right there. See that there? Yeah. That's a one twelve pitch. Okay. It's really like a two twelve, mm -hmm. And then down there is an eight twelve. But we, what we do is, all right, and I think what he's saying is, if you do that, you do a really steep one. Mm -hmm. But then to do a non-steep one, like a four, a eight, tw mm -hmm. um, a two twelve or a one twelve, either if you don't raise them sidewalls, mm -hmm. then you're going to have almost a flat roof low and oh. one steep. So mm -hmm. they have one steep and then really one flat low. We can do that. But instead of doing that, what we've done is we've taken the straight wall for a one twelve. And here I'm talking about all this stuff. Yes. You got to go in for it, and it makes it look like a dormer. Anyway. Okay. So it kind of, it's kind of a fake out dormer. Again, I can do anything. I see. Okay. But Good. it is going to cost 
okay. different money. Yeah, it's not yeah. you. It, it'll be more than an RJO. And see our see our freedoms out here. We got a little freedom. And when I like, really, that's an RJO with a dormer. And see the wood siding. That wood siding, right? And we can use live edge too, everybody. We can put a live edge up on that dormer. And this is Becky's house here. And she's got the garnet red. Let me get in front of Becky's. That, yeah. We saw it the other day, but some people's probably not seen well, we it yet. Had to, we had uh, hers inside almost all done. We just pulled off a little bit because we had to hurry up and get this one house out for this one customer. Mm -hmm. So we'd be out here tomorrow putting the siding on, getting hers done. Let me look um, at the other side of hers over here. It's There's always something in the way that makes it so skinny through here. Man, you talk about my 73. I'm talking about your 70, what, your what? A love star, man. I know, you're international. Hey, what was that song I was going to sing? I was going to sing you guys a song. You was going to sing a song. Life's Highway. Okay, if you insist. <laughs> my head I'd be scratching <laughs> while my thoughts were busy hatching. If I only had a... Is it looking it up? Hey, wait a second. It's saying the song. It says sing a song. Siri just sung me a song. Well, he talked me a song. There was a cool song that, I, that popped on the radio. They got an old oldies country uh, radio station here. Yeah. And it's one I used to listen to, and it was cool. I thought, man, that's our philosophy. It was, um, it's Steve Warner, and it's called Life's Highway. Yeah, Life's Highway. Yeah. So, anyway, hey, everybody. Look at Becky's house. Beautiful, isn't it? Girl. That garnet red. Look at that outside. Mm, beautiful. It's a big old house. That's a Craftsman wow. trailer. Craftsman trailer, Freedom Design. It's just, yeah, it's got to, you got to decorate that. Wow, yes. You're going to decorate this, decorate that Freedom, that I'm 8 by 20. To, I'm going to decorate that this week. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Maria said, if you're going to put metal in my shower and or any part of the house, I'd like for it to be shiny, corrugated stuff. Okay. And I will varnish it to protect it from rusting when it gets wet. So is that what you have to do if you have anything corrugated like that? What I do you put know. over that? I don't know. I mean, it's galvanized. Huh. Um, but you know what? When you got, like, city water, it's got chlorine. It's got it's calcium. Got stuff. All it's going to build up on yeah. it, so it would be good to coat it. Yeah. I love that. Now, reach your truck and look at there. Oh, look. Randy, come here. Look. Look at the skylights. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad um, that you brought this up. Uh, Trucker Mike was asking this. He actually called today and, and said, don't forget to ask this. And she just brought it up and I forgot it. But the storage units that you mentioned that one time he needs a storage unit. How do people get storage All right, units? I got to have, um, there's a company that will build storage units for us. Mm -hmm. All right. They're 10 by 10. Yeah, they're 10 by 10 with a garage door and a whole thing. And I gotta have they gotta have fifteen hundred dollars for a storage unit. Okay. All right, gotta have that, and he can build. He has to have twenty four of them to get them at that price. And then, okay. All right. So if I can have twenty four people, twenty four people or more. I mean, we'll mm -hmm. do it for all sixty eight and even in the. But at beach. least twenty four. But I need at least twenty four people, fifteen hundred bucks, and I'll have storage units built here, and I'll give you two years free rent in the storage unit okay all right so anybody that's wanting a storage unit or talking about a storage unit yep. uh to need at least 24 people you got and it's it at, what, and 1500 I'll, yeah 1500 bucks and you guys put your stuff in there for two years or better you know so, we'll figure it out so if um but if you don't have 24 what is the price if you don't do have 24 people well they won't they don't put them up i don't know i can oh. call them i just i can't why would you pay more i know you know okay all right that's just making sure so let's see what would that be it would be uh Fifteen hundred divided by twenty-four months, sixty-two dollars a month. Okay, great. Is what well, you'd be paying. Fonda said that she'd do one today. So, and Fonda, um, I think she's working on a. Uh, uh, she's talking with Angie and things like that. So that's yeah. great. Um, we're gonna put them down below because yes. we're gonna build. I want. We want. We need to build another hundred feet. We need two hundred more feet of building. So when I do this other hundred feet, all that wood below there mm -hmm. is gonna come up here. So then we got we got place and that'll be vacant down there. That's where I'm gonna put all the storage units. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have up about 150 storage units down there. Yeah, and they're all 10 by 10 garage door locked up, ready to go. Now Holly said, "Why not buy shipping containers for the storage? Aren't isn't that what they are?" I thought about it. Oh, I no, they're not these shipping are, containers. These are what? I'm these sorry. These are 10 by 10. 10 by it's 10. a metal building. It's oh. a metal building with a garage door and uh, the Perfect. whole deal. It's already yeah, it's ready yeah. to go. And the storage containers, I just 
I just don't think will look the best in that. And they're not yes, as big. I know what you mean. Yeah. And uh, Dana said it. she would want one for Freddie's motorcycle. So. Actually, this is cheaper. Mm -hmm. This is cheaper to do than buying a storage unit because I got to cut it out. I'd have to put in the, the garage, um, the door unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, they said great price. That's great. Oh, yeah. It's awesome, man. He'll come here and put them up for us. All he's got to have is a place to put them. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yes, and uh, they said, I want one for sure. Sure, we'll call Pam tomorrow. And what to do is to uh, probably um, send uh, your, um, if you're interested in a, con um, a storage container, info, I-N-F-O, at IncredibleTinyHomes.com, and we will just start a list of yep. people and see, get the interest. We get 24, you we'll, know, we'll do I, it. I'll put this on there because on the website, and we'll, we're just going to do a campaign and say, okay, this is yes. what it is. Everybody knows about it. 1500 bucks for yes. that for two years free you know storage then your decks on your homes with no rails and i'll put this out there yes ten dollars a square foot okay so if you want a 10 by 8 10 by 8 that's 80 square feet mm -hmm. times 10 it's 800 bucks for a deck yeah so there everybody that is interested in a deck a deck too yeah. we'll start a running list with the deck if you want a roof over it that's mm -hmm. going to be a different price if you want handrails on it be a different price we'll but be... you just want a plain deck mm -hmm. with steps you know, and I like to build them low to the ground so you yeah. come out of your house and may step down one step mm -hmm. and then you step one step off your deck. Now, Dana, that's a good question and um, I think I know the answer, but I'll let you answer it. Dana said, are we allowed to build our own decks? Yes. Um, oh, they are? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I thought they were going to be uniform, that everybody had to be... Well, they got to build our, our specs. Oh, our specs. Yeah. Okay. But you can build your own sure. deck, but to our specs. Yeah. Okay. All right. Because she said she was wanting a screen porch, so... Yep. Okay, as long as it's okay with us. Anything here, listen, you know, just got to run it by us so we can look at it. Just so it's approved. Yeah. Okay, cool. Another thing that I'd like for everybody to think of, too, is um, I think John is going to be hauling the houses over to the property, the people who are going into the... Positioning them positioning. over there. Um, we need to come up with some kind of a price for people to set up. Yeah, from and here what, to there and set up. He'll set up your water, your power, your sewer, and all your leveling and everything and, you know, getting it all set up. Right. So he needs to come up with a price. Well, and I'm not sure if he said he, I think he was just going to do the hauling and somebody else was going to do the something. I don't know. But anyway, we need to get together with him. And, well, I mean, taking it over there is seven minutes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We'll get with him, but. Man, okay. This, do we need this, to buy this, hookups? Huh? Do we need to buy hookups? For the park, the model, the, in the community? Mm-hmm. Um, you will, in a sense, um, I'm going to come up with a package, everybody. I'll tell you what you need and all that stuff. Um, Fonda wants to know, are you able to open the container doors from the inside? The, those the storage units? Yes, storage units. They're, now, they're not containers. They're storage oh, units. storage units. 10 by 10. It's a garage door. It's a roll-up garage door okay. that you can open up from the inside or outside. It's going to be a latch. Like, if you've ever been to a storage unit, they have a padlock on the outside. Mm. That's how you lock them up. Okay. Uh, Catherine wants to know, and this is a good question, are you still working on the gray water recycling system? What happened with I that? I have held off on that. Um, the system works. We've got people using the system. We just, um, because of the amount of labor and attentiveness that you have to use for that system, mm -hmm. I just don't find a lot of people, I think, that can, that do or want to, you know, use that system. Yeah. It takes a lot. And yeah. if you don't, you've said before, if you don't need it, why... Right. Why? Yeah, we haven't bought any parts or anything for over a year now mm -hmm. since we've been here and we pulled out. We used to have a complete inventory of thousands of dollars worth of all that stuff. And we kind of went through it and we, yeah, don't do it anymore. Oops. I thought it was a great concept. Yes. I loved it. Awesome. Awesome. Man, yeah. we knocked some questions great out. Great show. We? I, well, listen, especially over the weekend and uh, I'm trying to keep you out of the comments. If you stand right here, you're in front of the comments. They can't see Oh, okay. You. Yeah. Um, but after the weekend and we've not been on and stuff, I mean, and then things change. It's People's got a lot of cra uh, questions and Is stuff. Is it not amazing how much information? Oh. And we're on here like an hour every single day. I know. And the amount of information that is just always asked constantly. And it seems like there are new questions. You know, I know there's a lot of repeats. I know. There are a lot of new questions. So... Mm -hmm. yeah, and well. then too, I'm just I swirled around here to show Bryce's house because the outside of it, someone was asking about it. Can you show Bryce's house? And this is it. Yeah. It's um, what was the size again? His is uh, forty. 
It's eight foot wide, 40 foot long, nine and a half foot tall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. You know, and, and uh, I don't know of any other tiny home company, now I'm saying tiny homes, right, in the country that will bring you this kind of information, mm -hmm. that will bring you everything that we do, show you pictures of every facet of everything, show you, look at, you're seeing all my junk laying down. You see an old <laughs> 73 dump truck laying here. You know, you see this wood laying out. You see the stuff. You, I got this old barrel wood stove laying out. We're going to get them in. And I'm showing you all of it, everybody. And, and you're, you know, tell you, tell you the problems we have with things and the, and the, and the benefits we're having on stuff. And we make changes in here. There's, so anyway, I think about these big tiny home companies like Tumbleweed and Vista and, and uh, Tiny Heirloom and all these guys all over the country mm -hmm. that are not um, showing you this stuff, right. right? And I do it to give you security of who we are. I give you to you to say, hey, you know what? I can see what they're doing. I can see where my money can go or will go or is going to, mm -hmm. and I can trust what they're doing. The right. only thing I'm not showing you right now is, and I'm looking about doing that, is just showing you my books and my money and where my bank accounts and showing how much it is. And then we got insurance and all this stuff. And, and believe me, he has before. <laughs> I don't care. I just don't care. You know what? If I had $3 million in the bank, mm -hmm. I'd show you. Well, I'd like to see it. I would too. <laughs> but I'm like, I would show you, I'm not, I wouldn't be ashamed of being able to make money, but I don't, I don't have it, but, and I'm not ashamed to say, and I don't have it. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Because if we work and we make something, then we should be proud of it. Mm -hmm. Right. We sacrificed for it. We busted man for it. And I'm proud to have whatever I would have. Yeah. I'm proud. That's money in the bank. That building right. right there. I love that building. I'm glad we have it, mm -hmm. you know? So anyway, it's really, it, it really, when I really sit down and think about what we're showing everybody constantly all the time. Yes. I don't understand why, you know, and I said it was a guy here today, why that, um, what's his name, Drew from uh, uh, New Zealand? Why he, is he not here interviewing us and seeing that this incredible tiny home company. His name's Bryce, isn't it? Bryce, Bryce. that's what Bryce mm -hmm. is Bryce not. Bryce and Drew. Why yeah. that Bryce guy's not here interviewing us mm. and we're selling homes at 15 grand. Right. We are bringing back the true nature of tiny homes, the yes. true spirit of tiny homes, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Is what it's when somebody calls it pauses. Oh. Okay, I've got just a few more, just a few more questions. Go, man. Really quick. I, I hate to interrupt. Gotta, gotta, gotta. I just want everybody's questions. I'm trying to get it to where they all. A bird. Um, ha, uh, Holly wants to know how much were the four by eight sheds for our lots? That's another thing that we said. That, so decks, lots. Yeah. Let me figure that shut up and I'll okay. get back with you, right. okay? So we'll get on yep. that too. I need to build one as a prototype. Yeah, exactly. Um, how close are we with the, the modular certification? Do you know anything about that? I don't know. I know mm -hmm. Sherry's on it. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, are the storage units, will they be any other size other than what you said? I forgot what you said. They're all standard. They're all standard. All the same size. And what was the size? I, I'm absolutely 99% chance sure it's 10 by 10. 10 by 10. Okay, so as of we a know right now. A lot of room, man. Okay. Um, Bryce's house is still for sale. Yep. Um, <laughs> Lynn said if, if that Bryce guy showed up, we'd all be too busy. We wouldn't have time. It's like, you know, he would be like, he'd have to keep up with us. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not that I even care that he come, but I don't understand why mm -hmm. the entire country, if you're into tiny homes, why mm -hmm. aren't they here? When, you know, I've, we've tried to design this company to, to help in every facet of every way when it comes to you wanting a tiny home. <laughs> Dana said, I'll get him for you, Randy. I'm on it. Get Dana's going to get that get him, price Dana. over here. I don't know if I'll let him come here. But there you go. Yeah. We the thing is, is that well, we just invite everybody, we, we invite need him. to do what we're going to do of and course. take this as big as, this is our yeah. network right here. The thing is, it just it's not just him. Is people say, oh, hey, I want to build a tiny home. Well, you can do DIY here. I'll show you how to build. I'll show you all the materials you need to build the house. I'll show you where we buy our trailers. Mm -hmm. You can buy them from Bernstein. He'll well, sell I them mean, to you. They're on the, and, and everybody, there's people who have took on your design, the design that yeah. you did of the trailers. They're doing tiny houses. Yep. You're not the only tiny house person going through him. Nope. Now. <laughs> oh, no. I'm helping him out. That's fine. Go exactly. to him. You know what? There's enough fish in the sea to Feed all of us. There, that's how I enough. see. And that's what one of the things, hey, would you touch on just really quick before we go 
about um, like what Mark's wanting to do up in New York and anybody else that's wanting an investment okay, opportunity. All right, yeah. if you want a community, you now there's all kinds of ways of skinning a cat and going into business. Ah. My premise for a community, if you want one in Bend, Oregon, or if you want one in upstate New York and you have 43 acres and you want me to develop your community, right? Yes. Your land, that's mm -hmm. your land. Say, Randy, here's my land, right? Develop it. That okay. is your land. Done. So if that was oh. your land and you want me to develop it, what I will do is I will walk on and I will do exactly what I've done here. I will go there and I will do my due diligence on the community area. Yeah. Why would anybody want to live in your area? Mm -hmm. Are you close to shopping and schools and internet service and hospitals and, and all this stuff? Now, yes. it doesn't have to be, but if you're out near Yosemite, there's nothing out there. Yeah. But you're near Yosemite, so there might be some areas. So I want to make sure that your land is something that we could market. Then what we'll do is we'll go on Facebook and then on YouTube. Yes. We'll ask our community hey, we're starting a community in this area. How many people want to live there and try to do the same thing we did here? We'll campaign um, out exactly. and market it for so you. So we're going to yes. campaign it. Let's say, and I'll do my pricing and saying, hey, mm -hmm. it's going to cost X amount of dollars per lot. That's just bare to get it done like I did here. Yes. So if it might be 5,000, it might be 15,000 mm -hmm. because we could do one in Vegas, mm -hmm. right outside of Vegas. I know. We could do one downtown LA on an industrial park area. I would love to do something crazy like that, mm -hmm. but I would just pass it on to you all. You pay for it and then you live there free to get your deposit back. I don't, it may be three years you get to live there, but then the people that own that land, we are partners and we split everything 50, 50 mm -hmm. down the line. So if the lot rent is $200, I get a hundred dollars and the landowner gets a hundred dollars after two, three years after the place and everybody's paid their money yes, back. Right. Mm -hmm. That's how my, premise my idea of how to create communities across the United States where landowners make money the uh, the customers are getting a great deal mm -hmm. right and you help us finance it yes and because you're helping us finance it that's why I want to keep these lot rents low now most most landowners are going to say well I'm going to charge double what you're doing I'll get you know Joe down the street why do you always think that they talk like that that's because they do maybe <laughs> you're stupid yeah so but that's the thing is is it's going to be maybe hard to find a landowner that has my kind of thinking mm -hmm. and how and my gratitude to people that i don't have to borrow the money you guys are paying for it yourself this mm -hmm. is a phenomenon it has never been done before in the country that the customers pay for the community yeah and in return you're supposed to be treated fairly and good have a good rate and yeah. you stay at that thing mm -hmm. and i'm gonna put that in a in a building in my what do you call it my bylaws of my company that if if and when i pass and die and whoever happens here that mm -hmm. that spirit and that frame of mind in that way has got to continue on as the length of that community mm -hmm. i agree yeah but that's that's my god i just preached didn't i my god i don't even know what what was happening there but i, I feel lifted stop um, what i'm saying lifted i'm gonna lift you <laughs> Well, good deal. Great show. Wow. I, again, so much. We were everywhere. There's, it's all kind of stuff, you know. So, anyway, done. Sorry. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> I'll be here tomorrow. Good Lord willing, the creeks don't rise. <laughs> we'll be here tomorrow. We got a, still, I'm so excited about what we got going on, the new builds going on, the speed in which we're building, the quality in which we're building. And I'm going to show you some things that went wrong and what we had to change. Yes. Okay? Yeah. I'm gonna show you some boo-boos tomorrow. But we're always, we're gonna try our best to show a house every day. Yeah, you will always see a new house here. Yeah. And then Amanda's gonna try to decorate one, at least one this week, if not two. Mm -hmm. Probably just one. Uh, get, probably just one. Yeah, just one. It's already, yeah. Tomorrow's Monday's Tuesday. Gone, yeah, Monday's gone. Yeah, so. All right, that's yeah. Grandma. She's calling me, I gotta go feed her. Mm -hmm. All right, and I know I'm hungry. My mom lives here. She's mm -hmm. 94, December 17th. Yes. Her 16th. Her, um, my brother's is September 17th. Hers is the 16th. And hers is December 16th. Hers is the 16th. So I get them confused all the yeah. time. Mom will be 94 in December. So I'm going to go feed her. So. And Mark just said, uh, he. I'm so excited. Hopefully, maybe me and Randy can go take a trip to New York. New York. Yeah. Oh, he's taught. Listen, they got the stuff around their joint. All right. Yeah. yeah I need so to get up there. I want to see it. Maybe I'll leave next Monday and you ain't And going. I'm going. Nope, yes, and I, I get going. to go too. Well, Mark, Mark invited me. Well, hey. Mark, I won't be going. Hey, Mark, I'm the only one that called him, so. Uh huh. Later. Yeah, so I'm going. 
Pray for New me, everybody. York. <laughs> All right. Have a great night. Oh, and real quick, if you're interested in Bryce's house, how much is Bryce's 63. house? 63. 63. Completely done. Right there. 65 with a trailer. 63. Info, uh, IncredibleTinyHomes.com or sales. Gorgeous house. He's going to get that done now. He's He was finishing up, and I needed some money. He ran out, so oh, no. he's working now. Yeah. Trying to pay his bills, and then he'll come back on the weekends and work on his yep. house. Yeah, sales so. at IncredibleTinyHomes.com. Let us know if you want that house. It is for sale. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Have a great night. Bye, Randy. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I gotta feed me too. Bye, everybody. <laughs>